Hi, I'm Ryan Palmer, gear editor at Bike Magazine, and we're here in East Burke, Vermont, riding the Kingdom Trails. Welcome to the 2016 Bible of Bike Tests. Today we're talking about the Scott Contessa Genius 710, and it's a trail bike, it's 150, uh, and then they also have a twin lock system on it, which is what Scott's been doing for a few years, which if you use that, brings it down to 100 millimeters of travel. Uh, this bike retails for four grand, and it comes spec with um, mostly XT parts, SLX brakes, and um, it's an uh, aluminum frame. Uh, what do you guys think of it? I love this bike. I really like this bike as well. Yeah, the, they made a really good upgrade in um, using the Fox 34 this year. I think it was the 32 last year. Yeah, that which was one felt of the like really undergone for a six inch travel bike. Yeah, really. So that was the first thing I noticed was that was a really good change. Right. Um, the first thing I noticed was I, I expect with something that has 150 millimeters of travel that you're going to sacrifice on climbs. And I was surprised at how balanced this bike was. I mean, I really, I tend to slog on climbs and I felt very uh, less sloggy than normal. <laughs> <laughs> For a 150 bike, I agree. I mean, I, I still felt I still felt it climbing. Right. Yeah. You know, you still have to work a little bit, but mm -hmm. it was definitely, um, it made climbing a bit more accessible. Yeah. I felt like it wasn't just the worst thing. The the twin walkout to me, it took a minute to get used to. Yeah, that. yeah. I kept looking down. And I was like, okay, I've got a front derailleur lockout, right. seat post, rear derailleur, and it was sort of like my hand eye coordination. Yeah, you're, you're doing good. something the whole time. Right? Yeah, you're constantly. Right. And I don't like how much it took my eyes off the trail. To, until I got used to it. It just right. took me a while. A lot of people have just nothing but single track out of their back doors, and a lot of other people are connecting bits of single track with fire road mm -hmm. and roads and turning on those. So I could definitely see if your ride is mixing a lot of different styles yeah. of trail, mm -hmm. that could be really beneficial. And for, it's right. certainly convenient. Right. Like you just hit a level. Yeah, it was easy. <laughs> right, right. It's, it's great that they they have a dropper post on a $4,000 trail bike, and but the dropper they chose was just it was, just, it was a little tough, like just right. just to um, the the lever wasn't very ergonomic, so to get it to actually actuate was mm -hmm. kind of challenging, right. and then it seemed to take. Yeah, the response slow. time wasn't quick. Right. It's like being in one of those buildings that has a really slow elevator, where you're just kind of like, why am I still not there yet? <laughs> I kept thinking, like, why am I not yet? there yet? Which could be a little scary when you're getting to a descent, right. and you're like. You to, your post kind of going down quickly. You're just kind of like right, right, right. Yeah, right. yeah in my experience too, like as a mechanic and mm -hmm. a rider, it's it's been pretty tough trying to set those mm -hmm. extrusion posts up on bikes because mm -hmm. even when you get the cable adjustment just perfect, where you you know mm -hmm. it's actuating the post just right, um, it still does have like it's almost like it's it's too heavily damped. Like it doesn't let you drop yeah. it fast enough. Yeah, right. yeah. definitely. Right. <laughs> Some other good spec though, like the 180 uh, millimeter rotors was nice. Yep. You don't yeah. always see that on women's bikes, so that was it felt really good. nice to yeah. see. It felt really good. And then um, I think this bar was a 720 with a pretty short stem, so I think right. that's... It felt yeah. really perfect yeah, for me. Yeah, it, it was but good. Again, that's for a medium, purpose. it actually felt like quite a small bike. I yeah. mean, I normally would yeah. ride a small, and this this felt very natural to me. Right. I'm five foot four and it, it felt was small very for a medium. You know, it I, is. I think it was a little compact. Yeah, right. I agree, it's a compact medium. Yeah. So right. That's right. Which keep in mind too. can be really good depending on how yeah. how your body is or it could be a drawback. So it's definitely it's, it's definitely a bike that you'd want to get on and make sure it's sized for you. Right. You right. can't just try. assume you're you know definitely. a small or medium or, or what have you. You mentioned in the fork, I also think like the whole suspension spec combo was really good. I yeah, like to, evil. yeah, the, mm -hmm. the, the evil uh, fox oh. was, was really, really great. Yeah. And it, to me, just descending, it took everything really nicely. Yeah. It, mm -hmm. it just felt like, you know, kind of a hot knife through butter. You just yeah. cruised. I really right. liked it. It's an aluminum frame, but it was, it felt it really felt light. so light. Yeah. yeah, it felt super nimble. Right. I honestly, um, I kind of prefer the feel of an aluminum frame personally. It's a little softer and I like it kind of just like, a little less harsh for me. That's kind of yeah. what I prefer. Um, so I thought this bike was spec awesome for for the mm -hmm. frame. Yeah, it is. It, but I think it's at that price point where you do have to make a decision. You have to do, you do have to think about your priorities. Right. You, could the other, into, right? you could definitely get into a complete carbon fiber yeah. bike for this price yeah. or even lower. Right. But you probably so would be sacrificing on the components. Maybe some sacrifice on the components. Mm -hmm. But you know, so I guess you kind of have to think about what, what you know 
what you ride most of the time and what your priorities are. Mm -hmm. Overall, I just felt like it was, they just nailed balancing the bike. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's, it's not designed around one specific way of riding. It's just very well balanced. Really versatile. You mm -hmm. can do a lot with this bike. I right. mean, because it's, you know, 150, you could, you know, you could get definitely get into some more aggressive terrain or you mm -hmm. could, you know, ride it in the 100 mil mm -hmm. right. setting and, right. you know, stick to kind of this stuff around here, you know, like right. fast flowy sort of. Yeah. And it yeah. seems like they're putting a lot of that control in your hands yeah. for better and worse. You know, I mean, you can, you can mess with how much travel everything has. You can change your bottom bracket. You know, sometimes yeah. people can get, you know, analysis paralysis, but if you really like just, just tweaking things just a little bit to make it just ride just the way you want to, yeah. this bike gives you the option to be able to do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, there it is. That was the Scott Contessa Genius 710. Uh, for more, go to bikemag.com and check out our Bible of Bike Test on newsstands now.